at the storage unit on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We have a, I wouldn't say this is a record, but it's pretty close. We have to pull 48 items in here. So without further ado, let's go inside and show you what's sold. What a record weekend. We just sold another one. We only need one more. It will be 50 things we have to pack, which is a record. Yes. I'm pretty sure. One time we had like a 75, but it was a whole bunch of sockets. I don't really count that. But this is 50 individual buyers. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with some golf clubs. Little uh, Top Flight. I remember we picked this up for 20 bucks, sold for 57 plus shipping. This goes in a 12 by 12 by cut down box, whatever it is. It, it's really not that hard to ship. As you can tell, what I do is I saran wrap them all. And so that just makes sure that they don't fall out and they don't bang against each other. This one right here is a tailor-made burner. It would have went for more money. It only went for 31 bucks. It's because it has a needs a grip. So the grip is bad on it. But uh, so if you have good clubs that need grips, they still sell. Always, we always get the question, how do I ship them? Four by four by 48 boxes and always through the United States, not postal service, UPS. Do UPS on those and not USPS because their fees are ridiculous. Kayla picked this up in a random bag at an estate sale. I listed it. It is and it sold seconds later like i'm talking maybe 15 seconds these usually go for about 40 bucks this one is a united states Schrade old timer trapper knife thing is is it is in a little bit rough condition somebody's definitely going to buy this and clean it up so for 20 bucks plus shipping the buck knife that dad found in a pot when we were doing the storage unit and we found the case to it everything so for 210 dollars only took 12 hours to sell that was about how much they go for about 210 uh some of them sold as high as 240 but ours did have a button that was broke on the sheath so i deducted some money for that sensi stuff always sells fast for us this is one of the fastest moving sensis that we get this is called the sensi go sold for 23 dollars plus shipping this guy right here is the fall we both thought this was going to go for a lot more money mm -hmm. turns out this one's not worth a lot but it's one of the prettiest ones right mm -hmm. it only sold for ten dollars plus shipping kayla picked this up this is uh there was a old lady who swallowed a fly it's like the book with some stuff in it too like you know to animate the the book when you're reading it to children this sold for eleven dollars plus shipping the old chef choice these are always a good seller right here and this one sold for was it 15 bucks or 20 bucks plus shipping they are heavy so make sure you get the shipping correct on those the cutco board the pink cutco board look at that right there this is the it's called the pedestal cutting board pink was a not so common color on this this sold for 30 bucks plus shipping we picked it up for 250 at a garage sale with the sensi stuff so that's pretty good a pair of uh blue mountain jeans that's not a name brand jean but it was brand new so what we're doing because we just if you're watching the other channel you saw us get a whole bunch of stuff for free new clothing now is expensive right mm -hmm. even like non-name brand clothing or mall brands are selling for us for discounted prices but we're getting it so cheap that we can sell them for 10 bucks and guess what we make 10 bucks because we actually got everything for free c clamps big fan of c clamps had these listed super high for like i don't know 75 years somebody offered us 15 dollars plus shipping and we took it i'm in the profit on that we also sold a drill for 20 bucks that was actually in the other storage unit starting with some golfy clubs this one's called the hammer and is a really neat club as you can tell it's got holes in it and it also the shaft of it is like sideways or backwards as you can see see how slender it is right here and usually that they're circular this one's not it's actually called the fastest shaft out there i don't know if that's true but this is one of the good ones if you ever see the uh, hammer on a golf club and it's really interesting looking go ahead and pick it up that one sold for 30 dollars plus shipping another partial set this is ping eye two set this is not a full set. I think it's missing like a six or seven iron. I could have bought one online, finished the set, and sold it for 130 bucks. But these are good clubs. Everybody likes these. They sell very fast. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put them up for 120 bucks. And we took a good offer at 101.11. I guess they really liked ones in that. But that's not bad for a partial set for Ping I 2s. You have the option there. You can either break the set up, sell them individually when it comes to golf clubs, or buy a golf club offline and then finish your set. I just sold it and it worked out well. 40 bucks for this bad boy. And I was going to throw it away in the dumpster. Yeah, Kayla, we had a La Quisette, um, or La Quisette, La Quisette, La Quisette. Dutch oven. 
it had a hole in the bottom of it where it basically was burnt through and she was going to throw it away i said well definitely if the if the lid is nice with no chips in it no chips in the enamel sell it i can't believe it actually i thought like 10 bucks you listed it for 40 it sold for 40. two again mall brand express shirts so for 12 dollars plus shipping we don't have anything into those we picked this up uh, for like six bucks at a Salvation Army, uh, people were like, I think you paid a little bit too much for the old uh, old belt. So for 25 plus shipping, any type of Adidas belt buckle that's the three stripe, always put in there golf related because a lot of golfers wear these and they always sell 25, 30 bucks. That one sold for 25. Hair dye we've had for about 72 years. <laughs> Hopefully it's not dried up in there because this is a long, this has been a long time ago. And that one sold for $14 plus shipping. Got 16 for the old uh, red, white, and blue tailor made. And we got $9.99 for the old Steelers. How about five bucks for Stuart Little? Little game right there. This we just picked up and I can't believe how fast it sold because this is like a generic brand. I think this is the Harbor Freight brand if I'm not mistaken, Lifetime carbide uh, rotary tips they sold for 12 bucks plus shipping i think this came out of a storage unit snap on cable just a cable to a computer that was a computer scanner 32 dollars plus shipping i we made out like bandits on that one deal because we paid the whole thing for 50 bucks and we made i think like five or six hundred bucks just on that one deal i love sales like this because so many people would pass this up this is uh i don't think it's brass it'd be like pot metal but the design is the rose see the rose right there no, you can't because it's got no lights. <laughs> All right, see the rose right there? And when you Google lens it, it says rose and on the back has the name of it. $12 plus shipping on that. That's insane. We won't pick this one up. This one is a whole bunch of train parts that Kayla listed. It was uh, $25 for everything. We're actually in the profit now on that train lot, so that's not too shabby. Kiss! One VHS kiss tape right here. That's not VHS cassette. One cassette tape sold for $9.99. This is an interesting sale. This is a brand new, non-vintage Myrtle Beach Harley Davidson shirt. It is the 70th anniversary, I think, and it's 2010. It just has, you know, some motorcycles on it. it says Myrtle Beach. We got 20 bucks plus shipping on this. So uh, that's interesting to me because you always think Harley Davidson, oh, it's got to be vintage. It's got to be destination shirts also sell for us very, very well. Golf balls. I have a ton of golf balls. I was trying to figure out how to get rid of them. So what I did was I shoved them all in large flat rates and I listed them as unclean and unsorted. Um, so not sorted and unclean golf balls. They sold for like 20 bucks or eight, 12 bucks. It doesn't matter what they sold for because literally I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and I was already in the profit on them. Put them in these and they've been selling slowly. It is becoming golf season. So if you have a whole bunch of golf balls, just put them in bulk. You don't want to clean them. Boop, do that. Easy peasy. We want to go ahead and thank some viewer sales real quick. We have actually already sent them out to you. One was a tiny little Department 56 mailbox. It was super cute. I actually liked it. I was going to pull it and put it in my own uh, snow, snow village, remember? Mm -hmm. And I totally forgot. Then we sold it. But we finally sold something to Montana. Patricia, thank you so much. We have uh, There's a couple of states out there where we've never sold to. We've switched to Pirate Chip that tells you exactly what states you sell to. And the percentage of Montana was a 0%. Now, it's probably like a 0.001%, but we finally sold something to Montana. And thank you so much for Derek for buying two VHS to us. They are heading out your way. And by the time you see this, you should already have your stuff. And I think we did put stickers in that. Yeah. So if you if you buy stuff from us, if you write on the actual, like give us a message when you buy, we usually try to slip in a sticker for you when you do it because we really do appreciate all the support on our eBay store, which is linked down below. Now, Master Mechanics, $29.99. This is, it's it's a rotary tool, but basically that's what Dremels are called, but Dremel is the name of the actual tool brand, but it's actually called a rotary tool, the little Dremel tools. So that was sold for $29.99. The old Patagonia shirt, we got this at a yard sale for I think a couple bucks. I think it sold for about 15 plus shipping. Harley Davidson pillowcases. I think they sold for 10 bucks or 12 bucks plus shipping. That's not bad. We picked this up in North Carolina. Remember on our road trip? Mm -hmm. That's so I think we got it for like two or three bucks. Sold for 19. It's an all mesh Nike backpack. I was, I was surprised how much we got for that. We've had this thing for years, but St. Patrick's Day coming up and so is March and it is a doll and it sold for $15 plus shipping. So happy to see that go. Bose stereo. Now I did get a, uh, 
on Instagram. Junk Monkey did tag me in two posts. He sold two of these, not the exact accurate, uh, accurate one, but other ones for like $100 and I think $120 or something. We sold ours for $40 bucks plus shipping, but these are always a good buy if you can get them cheap. I actually don't test them, and we've only had, what, one returned or two returned out of probably 50 that we've sold. This right here, the Nikon Cool Picks 320 sold for $36 plus shipping. These, if you can find the digital cameras with a higher megapixel, uh, they usually go pretty good. I sold these super fast and I can't believe they, they sold that fast. Usually this stuff sells for, takes a while. This is a rigid pipe wrench. I think it's a 10 inch or eight inch, sold for $8 plus shipping. And then the big boy craftsman here, this looks like it's aluminum, but it's not aluminum. This is still steel. It's a 16 inch right there, craftsman. This sold for $17 plus shipping. If you can- It's an 18. 18 inch. This is an 18 inch craftsman. If you can get the aluminum ones, they go for more money. The steel ones usually, they're just heavier and people don't like them. Aluminum ones are actually a lot lighter. We also sold a pool stick for 20 bucks or $15 plus shipping. Then we just sold, as we were standing here pulling items, we sold a $119 pair of Nike Jordan's youth shoes. Now remember with those, they get sent out to an authenticator out in like Las Vegas or something. So we don't, we can't use pirate ship for that because it is free shipping for us. But that is our Sunday sales. Well, not Sunday, it would be Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday sales. We are one shy away from 50. So we will take that all day long. What we're going to go home and do is pack it all up. We do appreciate everybody watching.